What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMAC and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Game Mode 4. That's right, here in the Hermitcraft server, where it's kind of modded, kind of not. It's actually all vanilla, but using command blocks to get a couple of neat little, I, I don't even know what to call these things, but mods or whatever going on. So pretty fun. This is our second episode. First one alone. First one alone. And I'm just hunting for resources. Doing nothing too fancy yet. And I have Mr. Creeper over here. And he, he's just been hanging out. Hanging out. He's my buddy. Right? Right? You're my buddy. You are in quite a pickle, mister. I don't even know. I, I want to get this iron right here. But I only have a stone sword. Can I get you? I don't have a bow and arrow yet. I can't even hit him yet. <laughs> Man, I want my iron. It's real important. Today, I want to get to ore duplication. That's like my main goal. Because we got lots of good stuff. Alright, that was easy enough. We got lots of good stuff, but I don't want to smelt it up yet if we don't have to. Now, to do this, to accomplish this, the main thing that we got to be able to do is we got to get, what, 14 blocks Yes, blocks of iron, each block being nine ingots each. But once we have that, we're going to be able to, I, I assume, get two iron out per or gold and hopefully whatever else. We'll see. So it should be pretty fun. But I've just been going around mining. I found diamonds already. Found diamonds, haven't mined them yet. Saving it for you guys. I'm also saving until I get a better pickaxe. I'd like to maybe get some type of enchantments going. I'm not sure what else has been going on around the server. There's a little bit of a spawn town building up, which is kind of cool. We'll go check that out. And I've been getting some nice melons and carrots for food. So pretty cool. But uh, yes, we need a lot more iron. So just hunting around for it. You guys can hang out for a little bit and then we'll, we'll clip out. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. He's kind of my worst fear. We don't have feather falling or like any of that good stuff yet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Maybe he'll just kill himself. Walking back and forth trying to track me. Dish is a nightmare. I always forget. There's only so many times. I'm trying to think the number of times in my life that I've had to start a map over. Like from scratch. Brand new maps. I gotta say, it's probably only... I don't know, maybe about like 20 times max if you count like UHCs. So not too many times. It's always scary the first time when you don't have that good of armor yet. You don't have that much for resources. You're using stone swords. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess. And the stress levels just go up. Plus when you have texture packs that make every... Oh, oh, oh make everything look different, you never know what's going to happen. Oh! <laughs> like at that. Never know what's going to happen. Hopefully no one else drops in on our heads. We'll get up our iron. Now we do have equivalent exchange module. I guess maybe I should call it modules, even though I guess... Now mods stand for modifications. So we'll call this modules, because this is all done with command blocks. But there is a module that does something similar to the equivalent exchange mod that, you know, you guys that are into modded may be more familiar with. And that will let us change things like convert uh, redstone, coal, iron, gold, and diamonds. Among a lot of other stuff, we can, we can convert them over. Switch them back and forth between each other. So that's kind of cool. Nice, another 40 iron. I got like 40 upstairs, so that's another, no, not quite. Let's see if I can do this. All right, so there's another four blocks. We're getting there. We're going to be able to do it today. And I'm half debating. I found a lot of gold so far. I'm half debating whether I should be using the gold to convert to iron or whether I should wait until after I've made the furnace. Ooh, ooh, always good, always good. So anyway, any ways. I know, it's cool hanging out, but I want to get a lot done today. All right, this little mining session, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> zombies coming after me. This little session, I think, is done. We should have enough iron between what I already have got upstairs. 
in here. So cool. Diamonds. Oh, my diamonds. No way. I got diamonds. So we're going to hold off on doing those. Hopefully till we get fortune. We shall see. Oh, more diamonds. More diamonds. My diamonds. What? 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 Even more? Oh, man. I got pretty lucky. I got a whole bunch in a row. I wasn't getting anything. I was, in fact, use Like, I wasn't even finding iron for the longest time. But then I got lucky. Got a bunch of iron. Actually, iron still seems kind of hard. That uh, that whole ravine was so helpful. But um, other than that, yeah, diamonds seem to be doing well. Don't want to jinx it, though. Don't want to jinx it. Had to put up all these signs here, though, because I get lost between my strip mines and other people's strip mines. It's kind of craziness. So we have our little exit here. You might even remember this from first episode. Slip and Etho were down here as well. So I assume some of these strip mines are theirs. Oh, more iron, more iron. I don't know whose that is. I don't know whose that is. I'm not going to take that. That could even be mine, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. But we are going to be making a community little buildy thingy. So how are we doing? What's the time of day? Looks like it's just becoming daytime. So anyway, here is our spawn village so far. Pretty cool. Exumavoid, I think, went to the nether. I'm not sure who else did. But we got nice little warts over here. Soup and go. Oh, nice. Someone got a mushroom. Oh, that's pretty handy for food. So very cool. Got a little cocoa bean farm over here. Bunch of cows, bunch of sheep, cacti. Oh, very nice. Whose stuff is this? I don't know. You guys you gotta put signs up. Got all the piggies. I've just been eating vegetables and fruits. And then this, I'm assuming this is another portal. I don't know why it's colored, but you never know when you're playing modded type stuff. We got Exumavoy's little Lou. He's doing pretty well so far. Look at all that. Oh man, we might have to borrow some of those. I think we'll be okay today. I think we should be able to get some good stuff. What I have not seen yet though is an XP farm. So that is got to be of the utmost importance. That nor duplication. Because if we can do that, then we're going to be set. So yes, I won't do that on camera. In any case, what do we got over here? Town hall, follow torches. Cool. And yes, DMAX stuff. So here's all my junk stuff. The junk bag. And then here is all my good stuff. So let's see how we're doing here. So if we have, I think that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's enough for the first lot. And that's enough for the second lot. Perfect, and we got a few left over. All right, very nice. So what we have got to do is we have got to get this going. So we're gonna make a custom crafter first of all. And to do dish bad boy, you gotta make yourselves a dropper. I was almost going to go in and try and do the the whole recipe thing, but we know that that's not a thing. Anyway, okay, so here's going to be where we do it. We're going to put down a hopper, first of all. No, not hopper, dropper. Dropper, hopper, dropper. Okay, then if you take a crafting table, and I'm not sure if you have to cue it or if you can throw it. Let's try if you throw it. Did that say slightly damaged? Slightly damaged workbench? What's up with that? I guess we can't use slightly damaged ones. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta go like this. And that. Bam! Custom crafter! Sweet! So there's all sorts of new recipes. You're gonna wanna go and check on the wiki. But lots of new cool stuff that you're able to now craft in the custom crafter. However, we have to use this custom crafter is part, I believe, is part of our build. So let's move this furni, and the furnace is gonna then go, I believe, in the front of it like that. Now, it's not gonna work yet, because we gotta surround this with iron blocks. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of them. Right, 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 okay. So let's start to get all these guys cooked up. Since unfortunately, I've been looking around to see if anyone else has done a custom crafter. Haven't seen it yet. 
So let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to get double the ore yet, but that will give us enough for the iron blocks. Now next, we have to get a piece of sand because we need glass. And I'm pretty sure, I know I have these guys, sandstone. I wonder if you can turn sandstone back into sand. I bet you can with the equivalent exchange. I'm going to have to double check that. Let's just see. Can we see any sand around? Is there any other ways to get sand? Let's see. What are... Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Let's go grab some sand from over here. Oh, and there's where we did our first little thing. So cute. These are all the people that were expected not to come, and I think just about all of them ended up coming. These are some of the new custom, uh, like, better better armor stands. You can put arms on them, have them hold swords. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's grab some sand from here. Hmm. And then sand, they said if you walk on sand, uh, sand a lot, it turns into sandstone. So that's kind of a neat little trick. If you're trying to get a lot of sandstone, I'm not sure how many times you have to walk on it, but that should be good enough for now. 11 sand. So let's wait for that stuff to smelt up, and then we'll be right back. You know, it said something that squid. I don't know if squid hurt you now, but it said they, like, can shoot ink at you. Is that a thing? All right, I guess not. <laughs> But we'll see. There's lots of crazy new stuff. I'm getting very, like, I'm very new at doing this. This is not something that I've done this pack before. I haven't practiced stuff in the pack. I'm doing a lot of it for the first time with you guys. All I've done is look at the wiki. So a lot of you are going to have to help me out with, like, things that are going on. Oh, ooh, more iron. Uh-oh. Is that a rabid bunny? I hope not. Rabid bunnies are the worst. There's like evil mean bunnies in this pack. It's crazy. Are you a mean bunny? No, you look like a nice bunny. And you look like lunch. <laughs> Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, just so much relief though, not having to worry. I was so worried I was going to die carrying all that iron. Spent all morning working on it. So we got some clay now. Clay looks kind of funny. Clay looks really funny. So I don't know. It's going to take a little bit of time getting used to the texture pack, all those things. Um, it is important that we use some sort of texture pack, though, because some of these items, you know, these new added in items um, need textures and stuff like that. So we'll play around with it. But I'm going to try if there is a link for this texture pack or at least a name. I know uh, Exumavoid's the one that's been making it. I'll try and leave a link in the description about it, as well as all the other game modes uh, for stuff. And uh, the other hermits, hermits info. So very cool. So look at that. We already got 20. Nice, and we're getting XP hand over fist while doing this. So yes, yes, yes. Just get a crafty crafty. Ooh, iron blocks look kind of nice. Look at that. Very different. Are they connected texture? Oh, those are very nice looking. I like that. All right, we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. We have got all of our iron. Um, I was looking through the recipe of this blast furnace, and we're going to need an extra iron block to upgrade this uh, custom crafter. We're also going to need two comparators and a piston, so we should have enough iron, just barely enough iron. But we got to go into the nether. We got our glass done, so let's throw that in there as well. And then we have redstone. That's all set. I've also been making some smooth stone so that we can have that for our comparators. So, 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 I think we should get ready. Uh-oh. I think we just had added in, yes, the whole player thing, hopefully, and it should make it day, 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 if no one sleeps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Come on. Let it be day. Let it be day. Yes. Oh, that takes a while. <laughs> all right. So let's head into the nether. Um, I guess we don't need all this food. So we're going to leave some of that here. And um, 
I feel like I should make some more ladders. So why don't we do that? Whammy. Go across, go here. And bam. Okay, hopefully that's enough ladders. We'll bring that extra wood. Let's go into the nether. I really hope that's another portal. That really kind of scares me. And as far as equipment, we got everything but iron helmet. Now, had I been not doing this first episode and when did that dungeon, I probably wouldn't have made armor yet. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Sparks and CM 4 to 7. Soup in the go. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we need to find quartz. I don't even know what the texture for quartz is going to look like. I'm assuming it won't be too bad. Ooh, and some soul sand. Very nice. I have a feeling there's not going to be too much easy, easy picking quartz right now. Soup in the go. Headquarters. Cool. That's real cute. Oh, perfect. We don't need that much. Just enough to make... I think we need two comparators. Oh, good. There's plenty around here. There should be plenty. Hoping that we can even get some easy pickings like this. Nice. Alright, so we should be all set for this blast furnace. I'm super psyched about that. Super duper psyched. Alright, so... I will meet you back... At the base. Hey, piggy. Arr. Oh, we're still here. We're still here. I thought I'd grab some glowstone. I wanted to show you. It looks like it's gold. It's crazy looking. Crazy, crazy looking. Just don't want to waste any. Alright, the nether doesn't look like that much of a scary place. So that's kind of cool, at least. And the pigmen don't get aggroed at you if you try and mine stuff. I'm so used to modded Minecraft where the nether is just like, oh my god, the scariest place ever. But it's just not bad. Ooh, and more quartz. More quartz and more XP. You know, early game, just mining out quartz, it's really easy to find. And it's a pretty easy way to get XP if you don't have mob farms and stuff going on. I'm sure there's plenty of other cool ways i've been looking into a little bit the liquid xp and the liquid storage and stuff like that that this mod pack has that seems like it might be one of the more powerful like i guess i want to say tools or so forth that you can get so definitely gonna have to be something we look into that and then soul shards yeah you can make custom mob spawners i'm assuming make them go faster you can move them Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm really happy that we started doing this. Anywho, let's grab a little bit of soul sand too. Might as well while we're here. And Mr. Zuljin popped on. Maybe we should see what he's up to. Yeah, well, let's get our project to hand done and see how much time we have left. All right, so we should be good here. Heading back for reals, for reals. Holy crud! So, I followed the torches over to where it said Town Hall was. Check this out! This is redonkulous! Such a cool looking little flag. Done with the glass. Stained glass panes. Oh man! It's so beautiful. False future Town Hall. Work in progress. Spoilers, welcome. Oh man! Look at this place. It is just bonkers. It is bonkers. So I'm assuming we're going to be building, I don't know, I guess a town around here. I, I'm sure the Hermit Town will end up extending like this whole big area here. So even if we built over there, it's still going to probably be linked into this. But this is just gorgeous false. Oh, man. You know, I don't even realize sometime, like comprehend how good of a builder she is. But this just looks phenomenal. Hats off to you, false. Holy cow. That's false symmetry, of course. Oh, you know she loves that. Look like pink chests. What girl wouldn't? And there's a little bedroom areas. Oh, it's so cute. So we'll probably have to call one of the... I don't know if that's just meant to be all shared or what. Anyway, it looks like this is the closer way back. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. Is this, is, oh, don't want to fall. To false's town hall. Wait, was this the main? Okay. That's if you're heading back. So this is the quick way back and forth. Oh, man. Okay, so let's get this blast furnace done. Let's get her done. All right, so. We've got an enchantment set up, by the way, too. It looks like with full books, so that's cool. We're not quite at level 30 yet. Let's see. So here we have the mine. I almost feel like I might want to move my stuff and just put it in, build it, the blast furnace into the wall here. All right. All right. I keep underestimating it. We're going to have to borrow this iron down here. Guys, whoever's iron this is, let me know. Let me know. Or if someone didn't show it in video, feel free to come by and grab out of my chests. I'm going to be right next to the blast furnace. But I think this is important. This is something everyone on the server needs. Double or it better be double. It better be double. Watch you just get like an extra nugget. Oh, man. Okay. So let's get all this a going. Let's make some iron bars, which is the next step. Okay. And that is good. So we got iron bars. We got redstone comparator. We're going to need, let's see, one redstone torch. Yep. One redstone torch. And then we're going to need a piston as well. So let's grab all the rest of our stuff here that we're going to need. Some cobblestone. Let's grab a little bit more. I, oh, by the way, I moved over my chest. I have diorite going all around here. And then I ran out of it. So I just switched over to the granite. The andesite, normally, like, I really like andesite. But I think this is hideous looking in the texture pack. So, you know, you, you get something that looks cooler. And then something else that looks funky. But I'm sure there's good ways of doing it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's grab that. And let's grab some cobblestone. And I think we should be good. So the first thing you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do that whole custom crafter set. Uh, custom crafter thing. Lordy, and just get prepared, D-Mac. God. <laughs> All right, and some more redstone. Okay, so let's make a redstone torch. Wham, wham, cool. Let's make another crafting table. Okay, and let's do this whole custom crafter thing. So it goes like that, and we'll have to see what it ends up looking like. We go like that. Um, we need to set down the furni. We need to make this into a custom crafter. So let's go ahead and cue that on top. And you know what? You're supposed to do this first. I always forget this until afterwards. I'm like, why is it not going in? Okay, so that goes in there. And then we can cue it on top. All right, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now we're going to take our blocks of iron... You know what? I don't know if the order matters. It better not. That's all I have to say. So we have all that. Can we... Can I not look inside? Okay. Just getting a little bit of lag, I guess. Should we remove this? Okay. That's weird. You can't look in the top of a custom crafter, but you can look in the back. Okay. So now here's what you do here. You go bam, bam. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Not what I need. We need a piston. Okay, so piston. That's what I was getting my other stuff out for. It's like, wham. I better remember how to make a piston. D-Mac. All right, and wham. Okay, piston. It's not sticky piston. Pistons look funny, too. Oh, no. Did I not? You idiot. <laughs> All right, do it again. Just for those of you that missed it. In case you didn't know. Piston. And you got to grab it out. All right, perfect. So do we have everything for this? Block of iron, two comparators, and the piston in the middle. Sweet, sweet. So now it looks like a hopper. That's for the blast furnace. Okay, sweet. So what do we do next? We gotta set down the fern eye here. Let's set down the rest of these iron. Wham, 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 wham. What I don't know is how you're supposed to interface with this. So this might not be the perfect setup. We shall see. And then a piece of glass. Wham. And that should be it. That should, that should. It doesn't call itself a blast furnace, though. All right, so then what do we do next? How? I hope this was right. 
Yeah, it's got to be because that was there. So for this structure, let's let's test it out. Let's take a piece of gold. Let's take some wood. Oh, that is cool. And then you can see what's crafting there. Yeah, so I'd definitely say this is working. One. Where's the other one? That was only one. Does it smelt up a second one? What happened? Can we look in here? Oh, and there's a piece of gold there. So does it ever show up there? Huh, okay. So anyway, I don't want to waste that coal. Let's get that in there. Can we look inside the hopper while that's going? So it looks like the excess ingot gets like stored inside. That's interesting. So you, you need that to retrieve it. I also wonder if you can put a hopper underneath it to get that excess amount. But you can see it, it like popped up. That is kind of cool. I'm digging that, guys. So let's see. I'm going to let this all smelt up and we'll see how it does. Oh baby, it finished, it finished. So we got 22 gold there, so I guess it was, was it 27 total that we had? Something like that, and then we got all of our extras there. Now, I want to see if we can remove this. I only had enough iron left over to make one hopper. So this is going to be a little less than ideal setup, but we'll see how it works. Okay. Oh man, Zuljan said it's been raining for him constantly on the server. That kind of stinks. I'm not sure if I had a video set, like thing that made that not happen. But anyway, okay. Okay, so I'm betting you that this hopper will drop directly into a chest. Meaning that if we had another hopper, it should directly go into that hopper as well. Unfortunately, we can't open the chest when it's right there. Maybe we should make another dropper. Can we do that? Can I remember how to do that? Oh, that's not... It's just server lag issues. Alright, so can we do this? Put a dropper, like, right here. And then have a hopper go into this. Oh, perfect! Kind of perfect. Not quite perfect, but kind of perfect. You can at least access your stuff from down there. Okay, so I'm going to fill this back in for now. And then we'll just leave that one spot open for people to access their stuff. Because unlike a chest, you can look into a dropper, even if it's just like that. And then I'll extend it out one more block once I make another hopper. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty perfect. I'm pretty psyched about this. I think we got a good bit done today, guys. Dish is cool. And then right there. Because we can just go like that for now. Oh, I bet if I put, can I put a half slab there? Yes, and you can still access it. Perfect. Double the gold, double the gold. Look at that. Oh, almost a stack of gold. That is so perfect, so perfect. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to about do it for our, our second episode of Game Mode 4. If you didn't catch the intro, make sure to go ahead and do that. Um, I should be doing this series, I'm hoping every other day at least, we'll say like two, maybe three times a week. Yeah, something like that, something like that. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. So let me know in the comments what what other what things should we get into next? Um I'm need to get fortune for a tool. How are we doing on XP? 24 levels. So maybe we should start working on a spawner system for next time. I think that would be cool. Maybe there's already one on the server. I don't know yet, but we're definitely going to have to be more social and hang out with a lot of the other hermits in the episodes. So very very cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please remember to support by leaving a thumbs up. It just lets me know that you guys are liking this and you want to see more. Sound good? Sound good? Sound fair?
fair deal. You give me the likes and I'll give you the videos. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.